Well, hello everybody. You know, one of my pet peeves is doors that don't shut well. I mean, really, there's no reason for a door not to just shut smoothly. Well, and of course, there can be a lot of reasons why a door doesn't shut smoothly. And, you know, I was looking at this French door and I said, well, this should be an easy fix. You know, may maybe you've got the same kind of problem with one of your doors. It, it really is something you can take care of pretty quickly. So there's two parts here. Now that, that is the face plate and it hits or it swings up against the strike plate. And the issue here is that a face plate wasn't set into the door properly. It was, you can see it's sticking up just, you know, like an eighth of an inch high. And that, when the door closes, it hits the strike plate. So there's just a little bit of a hesitancy. Now, I mean, it, the door has enough give give in it that it goes ahead and shuts, but it really shouldn't have that 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 uh, ridge that you have to work past. So I thought what I'd do is I'd take this little uh, faceplate out and I'd use the grinder and I'd just grind it down. I thought that the the plate was too thick, you know, maybe it was. Uh, it was too thick or, or maybe I could take a wood chisel and wood chisel into the door a little bit so that it would set a little deeper. I mean, I think both those would, would be a, a good solution, but when I opened it up, I found a different problem. <laughs> so uh, not jumping too far ahead. The, the first thing, you know, is just get the screws out and then I got the, uh, the door loosened. I, I thought I could just pull that uh, face plate out, but it, it didn't work that easily. So I thought, well, let's take the door uh, knob off too. And, you know, this is not something, you know, as a homeowner, I, I don't think you should be intimidated by this. It's just a mechanical device. It's, there's, uh, you know, a few screws to take it out and, uh, you know, you can take it out and oil it, clean it, make sure they're in good working condition. So I got the... Uh, the door loosened up, the, the, the whole door mechanism loosened up so that I could get that face plate loose. You know, I, I did, I mean, I think I could have just taken a screwdriver or something and pried, pried it loose, but I didn't want to damage the wood frame. I mean, you know, go slow with it. There's no reason to damage your door. I mean, th then you're making a little problem into a lot bigger problem. So I got the, the door off and I just started well, you can see I just started moving it around, shaking it, trying to work it loose where I could get that uh, face plate to uh, come loose. And, you know, I, I thought I could either get the face plate off or I could get it m moved into a, uh, a position so that I could get a wood chisel behind it and chisel the wood out. Uh, so you can see, and of course you can see I'm not really having that... that much luck here it, it's not moving very well but you know again you know I'm not forcing the lock here I'm just trying to go easy with it uh, I, I did use a little screwdriver for a little bit of prying but not so much as to as to damage the wood right just, e just easy with it there and I I noticed that you know it starts it's starting to work loose So uh, continuing on, uh, let's see here, maybe I should, uh, yeah, you really can't see the secret here, but what happened is, uh, when I, as I was turning it, a small piece of wood actually fell out from behind that faceplate. When it had been installed, there was just a tiny piece of wood that was behind the plate and it was keeping the uh, keeping it from setting properly into the door uh, I, I thought I might have caught it on the video but I uh, wasn't able to, to find where that happened I'm going to zoom ahead just a little bit here or, or speed the, the video up just a little bit um, so as I, I was turning it you know left and right and, and just trying to work it well I can if I get it crossways like this, I can get the wood chisel behind it. That's what I was thinking. And that's when the little wood chip fell out. Uh, so, you know, I picked it up off the ground and then uh, just hold it here in front of the camera. That little 
piece of wood, you know, it looks like, like a matchstick was behind that strike plate. So then it was, okay, now it's easy. I just put it back together. Uh, so, you know, I just started putting it back together real easily tapping on uh, using the back of a screwdriver to, to tap it in so I don't dent it. And then my yellow little uh, plastic hammer to just, you know, uh, my, one of my favorite tools left over from airplane building. Um, got that back in there, uh, put the screws in, put the doorknob back in, and uh, you should be good to go. Just a fast uh, or speed forward through the video here just a little bit. Uh, uh, when you're putting these on, you know, uh, just take your time and uh, get the screws aligned. You should be able to feel when the screws start. And w once, if there's any resistance in the screw, you, you haven't got it started started straight or I mean you can feel the difference in the resistance when it turns freely uh, it, it's going in straight so get those screws in um, da, 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 da. Just like I could add some little uh, Keystone cop background there I suppose um, strange looking at your hands uh, you can really tell how old you're getting anyway so now Pretty good, huh? So I guess that's it for this video. Uh, one thing, you know, clean as you go, right? So I just got a little a, a damp rag and just cleaned some of that soil out there. This goes out to the backyard garden, so there's always plenty of dirt on this door. <laughs> but uh, it's fiberglass and it comes off pretty quickly. I, I, I definitely recommend these fiberglass doors. Um, that's it. Thank you everybody. I, I hope you got something out of the video. Um, you know, homeowners, life in the suburbs. See ya.